Uh, hi, everyone. My name is uh, Angeline Ko, and I am the founder of Tyros Global. Um, it sounds like a big name, but uh, there's just very few of us in the team. But we are very passionate about helping people to tell their stories. So for the last uh, more than 10 years, I have been helping individuals and communities. Uh, you know, I've worked with government agencies and uh, run training for corporate as well to help people to discover themselves. I've helped people also to, you know, brand themselves, telling short stories about themselves to introduce uh, what, who they are and what they do. Okay, so um, Tyros sounds like a strange name, but actually it is a play of the word story. So T-Y-R-O-S, if you rearrange it, it's actually the word story. Uh, so I'm all about storytelling, that's why. But of course I can't use the word story, so I prayed and asked the Lord to give me a name, and that is the name that I found. Uh, later on, I discovered that the word Tyros in Latin actually means a uh, learner or uh, apprentice. And, um, you know, in I think 2006, 2007, I actually was awarded the Lifelong Learner Award. Uh, this is a national award. And so it really ties in with who I am and what I do, right? So it's storytelling and lifelong learning. Yeah, I mean, even up to right now, I still face many challenges. Um, because while I'm passionate about storytelling, uh, I'm pretty handicapped as far as uh, running a business is concerned. And then so uh, in that sense, um, I've actually accomplished a lot. But in terms of making it a, a business, I think I have, but it's, it could potentially go much further and more um, if I had the right kind of partners and help and, you know, to, to work. I, I could do with a team. Um, I mean, no organization or anything can move forward without a team. I've actually been a caregiver six times. What do I mean by that? Um, so five of my loved ones have passed away already. And right now I'm looking after my mom who is number six. Uh, I've, I've lost my five you know, family members uh, you know, either old age or illness or something or other. Um, it's like I had many death rehearsals. And, you know, when you go through uh, that kind of uh, life experience where, um, you know, oh, they're going to die and then, eh, oh, they survived. And then, oh, they, you know, oh, oh they're going to die. Oh, no, then. Yeah, so it's, it's all these um, um, struggles that, you go through as a caregiver, uh, it makes you very, uh, I would say, respectful of death. But it also makes you very hungry for living. It makes you very passionate about making good use of your life because you know how frail life is. And as a result of that, it also made me very, even more passionate about capturing stories. So I really, you know, try to help people to uh, capture memories, make memories and capture memories. So I, one of the things I always say is, you be a good story, live a good story and tell great stories. Yeah, so that's what I basically am uh, all about. And this is what I do. Oh my goodness, I, <laughs> uh, that's a hard one. What are my most, what is my most memorable? I don't know, I've had many. I would say that, you know, <clears throat> throughout this uh, 10 years, um, okay, so when you start a business, you, you want to like have a core business, a core product that you can sell and that you can keep, keep the business sustainable, right? You want to keep your ministry sustainable. So you need to find that core thing. But because stories are so... Um, there's so many uses of stories, right? You can use it for self-discovery, counseling. You can use it for connecting people. You can use it for branding. 
then you know what is that core um, product that I'm selling? I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, because it's it's all over the place. I look back at my journey, and I and I would say it's not one particular um, memory, but I would say uh, in this trying to find out what is that core one thing that I I I I so called sell or promote, you know. And then I realized that, yeah, that is why God put me into so many different situations so that, okay, so initially when I learned storytelling, right, it was, it was just like this. But then now how do you go here, 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 all the different places? Everything has to be customized to that different audience. And then so I realized that it giving me a deeper and wider understanding of storytelling I, I realized that what I need to do then is really just understand what is it that my, my client needs. And then I can figure out now with all this. So, okay, so storytelling is like Lego bricks now. Okay, what do you need and how do I use these Lego bricks to build in something to help you achieve what you need through storytelling? Yeah. So I would say that uh, if you ask me what is that memory, it would be the looking back and seeing all these events and then suddenly making sense of uh, everything. You know, my desire, no matter what I do, is still to bring people into a deeper connection and relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ to share the gospel. So I hope to train others uh, who can pick up my skills so that they could do the same. They could learn a life, livelihood that potentially could uh, help them have a career. Um, you know, and also at the same time, I could help uh, organizations because if you hire a video producer, it would cost so much. But if you can empower your own people, I mean, you can create videos on your mobile phone. So if you learn the skill of doing it, you know, you've techni technically speaking you, you speaking, you have already got a wonderful tool, you know, right in the palm of your hands that you can use uh, for the gospel. So um, one of the partners of DM360 told me about DM360. And then so I, uh, yeah, he kept asking me to go for the prayer meeting and all that, but I somehow didn't find the time. Um, but I slowly kind of got into, I can't really remember how I got into the circle, but I remember them probably, oh yeah, I went for some meetings and met, you know, um, SC and some of the others, but probably the a significant uh, memory for me would be the uh, hackathon that um, they had there. So I actually went there and uh, that's when I really met and did something. Uh, and then subsequently I signed up as a DM360 uh, partner. Yeah, so I've been, I can't remember how long I've been, but um, yeah, that's, and I actually hope to partner with the DM360 family and see how we could, you know, partner together because I'm sure they have skills that I need and I have skills that they could possibly use as well. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's a no-brainer <laughs> because um, DM360 is about ministry and technology. And that's what I'm doing. And like I said, for the last 10 over years, I've been more or less, I mean, I, I have people coming to work with me, but because the business has not been so-called very sustainable in the sense that like I said, I'm not strong in business and development and all that. So people come and then they go, they come and they go. And uh, it's been a pretty lonely journey in many ways. Uh, yeah, so I figured that it's, um, uh, yeah, we're, we're not meant to be alone. We're meant to be part of community. We're meant to, you know, run together and support one another, another encourage one another. So I see that with uh, DM360, uh, you know, potentially this is what we can uh, do to uh, help and encourage one another. Yeah. I think to expect that there, there would be challenges, 
and that um, you, you know what Jesus said about follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Um, I think the connection with Jesus needs to be there because um, uh, an entrepreneur goes into territory that no one else has gone into because God has put this vision in your heart, this, this burden in your heart. But no one has gone on that journey or in that path that you see in your mind that nobody else can visualize. So you need only Jesus, you know, only God has gone there, right? And uh, he needs to download the, the vision and the, the how-tos of moving forward. So I, I would say, you know, you just have to keep going and uh, not give up. Uh, look for people who can mentor you and encourage you uh, because you, you can't do it alone. Yeah, you, you need God and you need people. Mm.